District 2 Sports. The Parkland Trojans girls volleyball team look to keep their undefeated streak alive as they travel to Rockney Hall to go up against another EPC powerhouse, the Central Catholic Vicats. Gwen Begley has the recap. Central Catholic has had a great season so far, beating Bethlehem Catholic in their opening match. Now the 3 and 1 Vikettes face another challenge as they welcome the undefeated Parkland Trojans to Rockney Hall. The first set comes easy for Parkland as they get a handle on it early with some major contributions from Sienna Salvaggio. Central dishes out the serve and Trojans waste no time with the bump set kill as Salvaggio absolutely drills it to the hardwood making it 4 to 1 Parkland. The Vikettes look to accomplish the same as Michaela Gunkel goes for the kill, but before she can even get a touch, Salvaggio stops it cold, earning one of her four blocks in the night. Parkland racks this set up easily, taking it 25 to 11. It's no walk in the park from here on out, though, as Central Catholic puts the pressure on the Trojans. While Parkland got the lead early in the second set, the Vikettes push back. Parkland goes for the kill, but Megan Nelson is there to break their momentum. Dana Roberts then proves she's got a killer arm. She spikes it to the backcourt, pulling the Vikettes into their first lead of the night. They'll hang on as Nelson hits the same spot, pulling their lead 15-13 to before Parkland rises to the occasion. They climb back and get it done with a block by Salvaggio, taking the set 25-20. to The Vikettes continue to pick up the pressure in the third set, pulling themselves into a 15-14 to lead before, again, Parkland cuts their momentum short. Kristen Krause executes her 32nd assist in the night, setting up for Morgan Sherwin to get the job done as the Trojans take the third and final set 25 to 20. Parkland wins it 3 to nothing. Central is a, definitely an awesome competitor and you know playing in their gym is such an amazing gym to play in, so it's definitely coming in here is uh, very challenging but to get today we worked really well as a team and uh, Central put up a great fight and it was a great game. I think they, they really came out the second and third set. We all just played together as a team. Christian did a great great job distributing the ball. Everyone did a great job blocking, playing defense, and they just kept bringing it, and we, brought, we just brought it back. Well, I was worried about our block, and then Sam Weber really started putting her hands up and, and distributing the ball pretty well with her hands block-wise, and got touches and got some pretty good stuffs. And she was closing, which are our outsides, both uh, Morgan and Sam on the left side, and then Sienna and Kristen on the right. She was having an impact on that, and that, that gave our defense more time to make some good picks. Central Catholic certainly didn't make it easy on the trip and they won't get a break anytime soon as up next on Tuesday they have an emotional and familiar matchup against the Emmaus Green Hornets a team they beat in the EPC and District 11 final last season. Well it's always an emotional game with them and uh, like it is down here so you come after an emotional match with Central and you got to make sure that you're fresh emotionally against Emmaus because they play with a lot of energy they're, they're very competitive the coaches really make them play hard and they, they go after every ball so you got to be very sharp and you got to be very precise with where you're locating your shots. Uh, Emmaus is a great competitor as well. Uh, it's definitely exciting to play against them, not that, that they're our rivals. So we just let it work hard every day and I treat it like a normal game. On the scene, I'm Gwen Begley for Two Sports.